I'm going to show you a fantastic dish with scallops and it's really quick and it's really easy. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make some fried bread. Now that doesn't sound very exciting does it but this is no normal fried bread. We've got some sunblush tomatoes here and I'm going to use a little bit of the oil that they're in and put that into the pan and then I'm going to take a slice of bread, this is just one person I'm doing this for. Obviously, if you're doing it for four, you'd have a big frying pan. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently fry that bread in the pan. I'm using some sourdough, which has got a really, really lovely flavour, but you could use granary, whatever is your favourite bread, yeah? But nice, thick chunk of bread. And you want to gently get that golden brown. Now, while that's happening, you want to take your scallops, which are here, and what we're going to do is we're going to crack over quite a lot of black pepper. This is just before you cook them. Make sure they're nice and dry. Dry them with a bit of kitchen paper. And a little thyme. I'm using lemon thyme here and I'm just going to kind of rip that over. I'm not even going to chop it actually. I'm just going to rip it over the scallops. Okay. Now you can probably start to smell when this bread is ready to flip over. So I'm just going to have a little look. Yeah, that's a really lovely colour, just a nice golden brown. And then I'm going to put a little touch of salt, nice crunchy salt over the top of those scallops. Okay, so the only thing that you need to do ahead of time for this is to cook your pre-lentils. We're going to do a pre-lentil dressing. And these you can cook in water or you can cook in vegetable stock. They only take about 15 to 20 minutes and then drain them and run them under cold water. And you can do that the day before if you want to, just stick them in the fridge. Okay, this is now ready, so I'm gonna lift the bread out. And what I'm gonna do now is just add a little more of that oil into the pan. And this time, I'm gonna put the scallops in. Now, I'm going to finish them off with a nut of butter, but I'm not going to do that now because if I put the butter in the pan, the scallops will burn. So, in they go. And that's the noise that you want to hear. If your pan is going absolutely insane, just take it off the heat. I'd say over a sort of medium heat with all that seasoning going into the pan there. And I'm just going to reduce the heat slightly and let them get a really good crust. Now, I'm going to take the garlic and I'm just going to rub it over the bread. So you're making instant garlic bread here. Meanwhile, you're looking at the scallops. They're probably, I'd say, a couple of minutes when they're large each side. Turn it over. If you really love garlic, do the edges as well. And then you're almost ready to serve. You want to put your slice of bread on the plate like that. You want to get some nice rocket leaves, probably won't need all of these, I'll just take some away. And a few more of your sun-dried tomatoes. And I'm just going to go back to the scallops now because they're almost ready to flip over. If I lift that up you can see they're getting a really, really nice colour. They're not they're not quite ready yet, but what I am going to do now is I'm going to add that nut of butter going into the pan. Because I've used oil as well, it will help to stop the scallops from burning. Okay, back to this. I'm going to just toss those, the sun blush tomatoes with the rocket. And what I'm going to do now is just take that, it's just the oil that is actually on them is enough. And I'm going to pile that on top of my crunchy croute. Let's go back to these now. Oh yes, look at that. Really rich. That's exactly how you want them to look. They smell fantastic. Now you've got the garlic on the croute, so we're not going to put garlic in here. And the worst thing to do with scallops is to overcook them. They fill about ready to me. And if they are really fresh, you can literally eat them raw. These aren't. But they're just slightly underdone so that they really taste wonderful. 
And then in the pan, what you want to do now is just to add your puy lentils going in. And it should sizzle away. A little splash of balsamic. And a little extra virgin olive oil. And the heat's off the pan now. That's enough. And then all I'm going to do is this. Just drizzle that over your scallops. Scallops on toast. Doesn't get much better than that.